Hello, my name is Mary and I'm from the blog Miss Mustard Seed and I am working on a trunk right now that I'm making for an HGTV.com tutorial. And this was built out of new wood, but we're trying to make it look like an old trunk um, as a coffee table. So I have first banged up this wood with a hammer and a chain and put little worm holes in it with a nail just to really beat up this wood. And then I applied some dark walnut stain on it in order to sort of bring out the depth of the wood. And you'll see why in a minute. I want to actually show some of that stained wood under the paint. This is a really cool technique, so I want to show you then how to paint on top of it to make that paint look like it's old. So for this, I'm using Miss Mustard Seeds Milk Paint. This is Luckett's Green. And I'm just putting a, just a very tiny bit on my brush. You can see the brush looks almost dry. And I just realized I totally have green hands. <laughs> like I'm alphabet. I'm gonna brush at an angle, almost dragging the side of the brush along the surface. And I'm also sort of, um, I don't know, pouncing the brush a little bit, I guess you would say, and really rubbing the paint in like that. And then I'm gonna come back with a cloth and sort of wipe away the excess. And the idea is, as much as possible, you wanna keep it out of the little dings and dents that were made with the hammer so that you can really see them. It sort of is bringing the wood to life and you can um, really have the paint be as opaque or as sheer as you want to. I'm letting it be fairly sheer so you can see that stained wood underneath. This creates a really neat look for, especially if you're trying to make a brand new piece of wood look like it's old and like it's been wearing its paint for a long time. Okay, so once the paint is dry, I'm gonna come in with some sandpaper. This is 120 grit. I have some 180 as well because we don't wanna use a really heavy grit to make this really scratchy. But I'm just going to sort of take some of the paint off the edges and reveal a little bit more of the stained wood. It's okay if it even goes down to the raw wood a little bit. And I'm also going to sand the paint off just the surfaces, the flat surfaces, just very lightly. And this is just sort of knocking the newness off of the paint. And then I'm going to finish it off with some antiquing wax. And the final step now is to apply some antiquing wax. And I'm going to massage it into the wood with the brush, really smushing it into the, the pores of the paint and of the wood like this. And then I'm gonna wipe off the excess. And what this does is it brings out the depth of the color. It kind of mutes it a little bit. It also brings out all of these little dings and dents that I made with the hammer and the chain and nails and such. And it just gives sort of an instant patina to this piece. And you can see just like what an awesome look this is. I'm really excited about it because this is brand new wood, but it looks like it has a lot of age to it. And the antiquing wax is a top coat and a technique all in one. So you don't need to do anything else after this step. It is done.